Dear colleagues, it's a real pleasure to, um, to be here uh, with you on the screen all together at your 17th session of the World Meteorological Congress uh, that you hold in Geneva. Uh, particularly the session on the Global Framework for Climate Services. But let me tell you first who I am. My name is Rudolf Kleveringa. I am the Acting uh, Secretary Ex Executive of the Global Water Partnership, which has a vision for a water-secure world. Um, what is Global Water Partnership? It's a relatively young organization, 20 years old, almost. Next year we'll celebrate our 20th, actually here in Stockholm and in the regions. So you're all most welcome to participate and, and, and join in the fun. We're a dynamic organization uh, with partners of different nature and backgrounds, civil society, governments, academia, and of course the uh, private sector, professional associations and what have you not, all interested in water resources management. So what is it then that we do? Well, in order to get there, what we think uh, is most appropriate is the governance and the management of water resources. And we do so with over 3,000 partners in over 80 countries and surely, and it may well be, that you in the room here are also a member, an active member of the Global Water Partnership. So thank you for that. Now what is our cooperation with you, with the Global Framework for Climate Services? So what is it? Well, it's basically focused on the user interface platform and the four other pillars of your implementation plan of the GFCS, the Global Framework for Climate Services. So that's the what. How about the how? Well, we have three answers to that. Basically, we work with WACDEP, the Water Climate and Development Program. We work with a somewhat older flood management program that was a associated program between GVP, the Global Water Partnership, and the World Meteorological Organization. And the youngest family member is the drought management program, also an associated program. So these three, WACDEP, the drought, and the flood programs, constitute what is called the Global Water Partnership World Meteorological Organization, Joint Office of Climate and Water. Now, let me give you just a few brief examples before you go into your session. So WACDEP, the climate, water and climate one, has already benefited 100 institutions by training. It is engaged in transboundary cooperation, basically through the convening power of our networks in country and, of course, in the adjacent countries to bring people together and uh, consult on solutions forward. It also addresses critical challenges in water security through innovations on the ground. The drought program obviously works in areas affected by drought. Surprisingly for some, Central Europe, yeah, it's not so surprising for many, Horn of Africa, Caribbean and West Africa and a set of other countries, but those are typical. And the flood program is now in its fourth phase working to mainstream policies that we have developed with you over the first stages to put them in practice in cooperation mostly with national meteorological institutions and services, also the ones that put these projects on the ground. So with that short illustration of reality of the Global Water Partnership and the way we, we look at a water secure world, I wish you a very constructive session and we surely hope that your results will be widespread and will inform our joint programs. Thank you very much for your attention.